Hello queens and kings, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. <laughs> it really means a lot to me, the support I've been getting. Thank you so much, guys. I am really, really, really grateful. This is the necklace that we'll be doing. Welcome to the series. Welcome to the series. I'm excited. So this is exciting because we're going to start it together and we're going to finish it together. So every day I will be posting a video where I will be continuing with it. So we're going to start it together and we're going to finish it together. So this is the necklace that we'll be doing. This necklace is incomplete. That's me and with most of my projects. <laughs> um, I'm the kind of person where I, if I learn the pattern and I feel like I'm okay with it, I just put it aside. You know how they say a mechanic doesn't have a car? I'm the girl. I'm the girl. Yeah, most of my my work is does not belong to me. It belongs to someone else. <laughs> okay. So, let me put it aside. So, I have my needle and my upholstery thread. And I'm going to be using a single thread. By single thread, I mean I have a situation like this. Whereby at the end, I do not tie both threads. Both strands of thread. I only tie one strength, strength, one thread. Okay. Yeah. So I made three knots on top of each other. And for today, we'll be doing the neckline. This is the neckline, this part. And it's also the name I just created right now. That's the neckline. So we're going to start off with our button. By that, we're going to start with our white. So for this necklace, you will need black beads, white beads, and color beads. Any color that you like. Okay, so I'm going to take this bead and I'm going to push it to the end. I will be making a stopper bead. And I'm going to insert my needle in the opposite direction. And I'm going to pull, creating a loop around this bead. Okay. And then I'm going to take the bigger bead. I'm not really sure of the sizes, the actual sizes, whereby maybe you have like three millimeter. But all I know is that I have big and small <laughs> big and small and medium so this is my big bead i am sorry i i truly apologize i only discovered that i'm i'm a bit embarrassed to say but i only discovered that beads have like numbers this year when i was like watching a lot of youtube videos on tutorials because i, was, I wanted to I was starting my earring business. So I was doing a lot of research and watching tutorials on different styles. So I'm going to pick up three white beads. I would advise that your bigger bead, oh, focus. The bigger bead can be in white. It's just an advice. And this is what I mean. We're going to cover this bead with white beads so it does happen that like for this one this is an example you can tell that there's a red bead inside so if you have a white bead even when there are those gaps it, it won't be quite evitable that you took a bead and you covered it with other beads but it's all up to you. I'm oh, sorry. So I, this is what I was doing. Let me take another three. 
and then i will pause the video and i'll come back okay so this is the three beads i insert my needle in the opposite direction the same thing that i did with the stopper bead and then i pull by this i'm creating a loop around this one big bead Ta -da. okay so you do the step up until the bead is covered fully by the small beads okay i'm gonna pause and then we're going to come back i'm back okay so the bead is covered fully by the small beads as you can see so now we're going to start with our neckline so the pattern is 10 white beads two black beads one color two black beads and then again 10 white beads two let me bring my visual aid again you see 10 white beads two black beads one color by color I mean the yellows and the blues which will be you'll be the one choosing the colors two black beads and then 10 white beads so the length remember it will be determined by you because because it will be customized to the neck size of your choice okay so let me pick up my 10 white beads okay so these are my 10 white beads and then i have my two black beads then the color of my choice let me let me say yellow and then two black beads okay and then i push them down like this okay and then i'll be back after i've filled to the size of my choice okay so i decided for to have yellow green and blue okay so now i am happy with this length my newborn size <laughs> okay so every time where you when you have to stop when you're satisfied with the length every time when you have to stop you have to stop after having 10 white beads so in this situation i can't stop i have to make sure that i have 10 white beads before i stop like this so now i can stop because i have 10 white beads so make sure before you stop have 10 white beads that's when you can stop you can have you can add as much many colors as you like you can add even if you're using one color maybe having yellow 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 throughout it's okay it's all up to you but make sure that before you stop have 10 white beads okay so now we're going to create the loop for the loop it's quite interesting because the number of beads that you have in your loop will also be determined by the size of your button so our button sizes it does happen whereby the button sizes are not the same so the loop is always for me the loop is always a trial and error whereby i do not always have the accurate number of beads that i use in the loop i always use my eyes to check okay should i add a bead should i remove more beads should i add more beads and sometimes i okay 
it's always a trial and error. So now you're going to pick up one white bead and then you're going to push it down to the end. And now you're going to insert the number white beads that will be your for your loop. Okay, so as I've said before, the loop is a trial and error. You, you measure it with your eyes, with okay. How many beads will I need for my loop? Well, guys, let me tell you a story. How have you been? How has your week been? Today is a beautiful Saturday. My week has been great. So I've been shooting. Not shooting. I've, I usually, I always say this all the time. I usually prepare the videos in, in advance. So I'll record the videos in advance and I'll take the video. I use my mother's phone because she has a good camera compared to my phone camera so i take the videos and then when i'm done i will transfer the videos into my pc my beautiful pc i call my pc mangoba which means conquering because i believe that pc has helped me with so much i conquered so many things with that pc so every time i do this just to check with my eyes and say, mm, will we fit? By looking, I think I might need two more. So I usually do that. So I recorded day one, day two, day three. And then after, okay, I'm happy with the size. And then after, when I when I was done recording, I transferred. Okay, okay so I'm going to insert... On that last one bead that we picked up before, that's where I'm going to insert my needle. Only on that bead. And then I'm going to pull. After that, also usually I do that. And then on Friday afternoon or at night, I would upload the video and then I would schedule it for Saturday. I can. <laughs> Okay, I turn on Mangoba and then Mangoba has a low battery and then I have to charge. The charger is not working. <laughs> and uploading takes time. It takes, for me, you see? So I have to do trial and error. But from looking, I feel like I can remove two more beads. Just to not make the loop too loose. So now the PC Mangoba, my PC name, ends up switching off because the charger can't charge. So <laughs> that time I have orders to finish. That means, and all the videos, all the videos are in the laptop. I'm removing two beads because of my loop size. All the videos are in the laptop. Whee! Okay, let me separate my 10, 3, 5, and 3, 5. Okay, so I'm confident this is my 10. This is the one bead, okay? Hi, okay. Bazala. <laughs> that means today, queens and kings, I have to retake the videos. Let me show you the time. Let me show you. I am not kidding. Look. Look at the time. <laughs> But it's fine. So I'm, I'm 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 doing the videos again. My laptop is dead. My charger decided to die. But it's okay. I think. Okay, and then we're done 
for today. But you have to secure your loop and you have to tie a knot. Just gonna tie a nice knot. So I'm taking the video and I'm going to use my mom's phone to upload the video. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, how tender. Stop complaining because you do have an option B, you know. It's unlike whereby I, like, I didn't have a choice. Yes, it's sad. Like, all the work, I should be sleeping, but it's okay. I honestly should not be complaining because I do have a second option. And like in situations whereby I won't, I don't even have a second option. So this is my loop that I tied. I'm going to tie another one to secure it. So yeah, when we fall, we crawl until we can walk. So guys, I hope this motivated you. Mm. That when you face with a situation, always think of a plan B. If there's a plan B, jump into it. We're done. So tomorrow we'll be starting, we'll be introducing color. Let me can I please show you how we're going to move? For the necklace, we're going to move, be moving in zigzags. I like to call it zigzag because we're moving down, up, down, up, and down. So tomorrow we'll be doing the first line. This first line. So it will be like this. That's the first line that we'll be doing tomorrow. Oh, another thing. When you're done, you cut. Yeah. Yes. We're going to rejoin here tomorrow. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I really, really hope the video was um, understandable. If you have questions, comments, requests, please comment down below. And please stay tuned for tomorrow, day two. Whereby we'll be doing the, um, we'll be completing, not completing, but doing the second phase of the necklace. So today we're doing the neckline, tomorrow we're doing the second phase. If you love the content that you're seeing, please consider subscribing. I love you so much and continue being you. Bye guys. Thank you.